Welcome everybody. Good morning. I'm going to give it just a couple of minutes for everybody to pop over here. And then we will get started on our watercolor practice. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm just going to do some... Oh my goodness, there's people in here. Hello, hello, hello. I'll be right there. Good morning. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, Stephen. You got an alert. Okay. All right, I've got, and Brenda, hey, okay. So, um, I have to learn to talk to the camera. But, um, so I'm gonna do, like, two things. Um, watercolor fun. I say fun. Um, with these watercolors that I found, uh, I, I know you guys saw these for 50 cents, because why not? And it was a great suggestion by Wendy. And um, to do this today, because I should have brought scissors. Um, and then, <laughs> I'm so sorry you have to set your alarm to come here. But I truly appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to play with these. But first, I wanted to show you guys, you know, well, you guys know, but other people who might come in later. Um, oh, just rub it in. Just. Wendy's working while she's talking. <laughs> um, I don't know how to do that. <clears throat> so, um, well, I'm going to show the pictures for the comp the contest that Brenda and um, Steven are doing. I didn't mean like contest. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant like, you know, you guys are having fun. Little friendly competition between friends. Never hurt anybody. Um... Well, that's probably not true. It probably has hurt someone at some point. Um, if I can find them. Yeah. No. See, what happens is I wake up early on Fridays and I do all of this extra stuff and I'm like, I am 1000% prepared. I practice everything, like make sure that it looks pretty. This morning I made that little, see the thing up there that says watercolor practice? I made that this morning, saved these pictures. Uh, but tell me where, tell me where I saved the pictures. Wait, maybe they're over here. If not, I'll share them another day. Okay, so that was wrong. Dang it. Well, if you want to see them and you haven't already, they're in our group, Artistic Village. Um, this is why I get things done. Again, rub it in. Did you caulk and paint baseboards today? That is not fun. I don't envy you there. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back over here. And uh, today, what are we doing? Post office again for the fifth time this week. We've been every day this week. Um, okay, so I learned something cool. So what I'm going to do is, I um, don't know a thing about watercolor. And I am going to use bottled water because our water is really yellow. So, um, but I do know enough about watercolor to know that you're supposed to have two cups of, two cups, one for rinsing and one for making clean water. So I'm going to do that. And then I went to YouTube and um, I typed in Sorry, I, I outsmarted myself. Uh, I typed in easy watercolor and the first thing that came up with was uh, a Kirsty Partridge video. So I'm going to pop that in and we're going to kind of like skip around skip around with that um so don't mind the weird things that are up there it'll show up in just a second maybe this all worked when i wasn't live maybe it won't do it because i'm live that ruins everything let me see what's going on over here 
while that's deciding what it's going to do. Uh, well, if you don't know about the group, it's because um, you probably you were too busy working because we've talked about it. It's Artistic Village. Um, it's right over on... It's on my page. Five Wanted Stream. Three times I played this. I played this three times before I streamed to make sure that it would work. <clears throat> Is anything showing up over there at all? Let me try one more time. Maybe it's not playing because it's not playing here. Okay. I mean, I don't know why that would matter, but, you know, the internet's weird. Let me delete this. And I'll try one more time. And if it doesn't work, I guess I'm just going to have to totally make it up. <laughs> oh, no. I was going to be so fancy. Okay, do you see the thing that says OBS Studio? I guess it's just not going to work. Oh, my gosh. No, Brenda, I don't have an imagination. I can't just paint. It doesn't work like that. Okay. Well, I'm going to go turn it off. Oh, that's so sad. I guess it would work if I was just not record, was not streaming. Maybe my internet can only do one way or whatever. Shucks million. Fine. Um, I have to at least look at the picture. So, now... We know that, um, now we know that you can't do that. You're welcome. If you were ever wanting to know, I'm happy to make a fool of myself for the sake of the betterment of all of us. Okay. So she had, um, yep, nope, that wasn't the right one. It was this one. So what she had was, um, three panels, but I'm only going to do two. And she blocked them off with scotch tape. So I already did that. And then, oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad about this. Um, does it play in my window? No, it doesn't play on my side at all. I would think I could do both. I was doing both before I started streaming, you know, like, because I wanted to make sure I could start and pause the video. Um, and I could, I did all of this. So shucks. I mean, it's no fun when somebody pops over and, I'm, and for 20 minutes, uh, I'm just going, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? Um, because if I'm going to say that it should be about, you know, this, I guess I shouldn't say that about this, but whatever. Okay. So, all right, let me see if I can at least pull the pictures up because now I'm totally just at a complete loss okay so the first one that she did was a galaxy so that's what I'm gonna look at right here there is a cat trying with all of its desperate might to get into this house and it's not gonna happen and she put a lot of water down and um, then she put colors so let me pick colors first because she had one of those fancy palettes that had all the colors in it I don't have one of those so we're two for two for me trying to do things this morning that didn't work but I did get the watercolor thing up there so I'm gonna take it as a win all right, so this is just a regular picture frame. I don't really have a palette. Um, so we're going to use this. That's probably a lot, but whatever. Um, this is just a regular picture frame that I put a piece of watercolor paper behind with the glass. And we'll see if that works. And I want to make purple, blue, um, because we're going to do a galaxy. So I'm going to put this right over here. A wax paper is a good idea. 
Wax paper is a super good idea. Okay, next time I'll try wax paper. So purple, blue, and whatever this Chinese white is. I do not do watercolor. So, does watercolor go bad? <laughs> I don't think it was supposed to be that color. 50 cents this, this set of paints was. So what are you guys doing this weekend? We got all of our Christmas stuff up yesterday. Do you see this? Who's, who's keeping track? Who's doing the tally mark? Okay. That is really gross. You know what? I have I have two two sets and this was only fifty cents, <laughs> so um, so I win. I, I'm okay. Dark and black. So I at least have to turn music on, right? So let me do that. Uh, I've played with watercolor before. But I'm really, really bad at um, understanding it. Which, from what I what I do understand of it, it seems like <clears throat> if you know how to do colored pencils, you should know how to do watercolor because you have to work up. So this is just Scotch Magic Tape. I don't know how well that is going to work and then I'm going to put that brush away and try to put some of this I don't like this brush what is the brush we're going to use because it's what came with the set Ooh, wow look how pretty that is look how blue that is intense phalo blue they're right. It is quite intense. Holy cow. So I I don't have the fancy uh, arches, watercolor paper or anything, which I guess I have to. I guess, I guess that's the thing. Because that's like the third time I've needed it this week. Um, this is just the uh, Canson watercolor paper that you get like at Walmart or um, I'm sure I got it at Walmart. I'm going to use a bigger brush because this is a big thing and I'm just going to drop color in. I feel like it should spread out more. Oh, there's so many. If you can Okay, if you can dry on your palette and you can reactivate it with Oh, it can dry on your palette. Well, that's what I I didn't Oops. I just feel like this paper should be wetter and it should be going like that. It can be on your, okay, I can reactivate it. That's good. It looks like the binder separated from the pigment. It's gross, right? It's completely different than colored pencils. Oh, I just mean that you have to build up. Like the whole idea of building up, um, you know, that you can't just go right in and make what you want. You have to build it up. Nope. I am su I'm assuming that this is going to rip my paper. All right. Let's see if I can make purple. I can. Look. Is this showing up? But I kind of wonder how it mixes together, like, um, is it going to make a muddy color? Like, my paper is really... Can you see that? I'm just going to get rid of this and put music on. Um, because I'm not going to look at it. Uh, 
royalty-free happy music. How does that sound? Like it's not a thing. We'll listen to the guitar lady. And you have to be patient and let it dry in between. Well. So far, I have to say, I don't like it. Maybe I used the wrong brush. I guess those paintbrush um, lines would be really helpful if you wanted them. You know, if like there was just something that you really needed a tree maybe. Maybe it would be good at doing a tree. But I need to make some thing that's not this color because it's just not pretty. So these colors, I have used um, like some off-brand watercolor paints. Um, I couldn't even tell you the name. Like one of those little sets that you get. Not Crayola. Not like those. Like in a tube, but like off-brand. And the uh, colors were not this vibrant. The pigment was not like this at all. I mean, look at how deep and rich that color is. And it's so much. It's a little too much. All right, so that's going to be my mixing brush. And this is going to be my dropping on the paper brush. Because this is supposed to be... I think I'm working too slow. Because uh, this should be super wet. We're supposed to have about six inches of rain this weekend. Even more rain again. And um, so I'm not sure what our plans are for the weekend. I really want like something darker than this, like a maroon color, but I'll just drop this in. I guess it can't hurt to watch watercolor go on paper. Put some of this in. And then you're supposed to sprinkle salt. So I'm going to try that. To give you like a, a star effect. So I'm going to let that sit. So that's one. Okay. What are you trying to accomplish on your painting right now? Why are you asking me questions like that? Um, Canson watercolor paper is one of the worst for spreading. That's why Archers is recommended because it spreads nicely in 100% cotton wood pulp paper reacts differently. Watercolor, you have to work quickly. I must have to work quickly or quicklier than this. We are under a flash flood warning today. It floods here with hardly any rain. Oh, geez. Well, I'll be thinking of you. That's how our weekend is going to be, too. Um... I want to put this so that you guys can see it, but not, let's see. Tell me if you could see it right here. So the other one, I'm going to have to just be rude because my plan didn't work. And I, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm looking at. I have no reference in my head whatsoever. So I'm very sorry if I'm being rude. Um, I don't mean to, I don't mean to be rude. This is the one I really, really wanted to make. Um, and it looks like, you know, I watched her do it once and I was like, I could do that. So, yeah, she mostly has these colors. So it's like a snowy. So this is what, this is what the deal is going to have to be. Um, I have to choose between paying attention to the chat or paying attention to this um, so that I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to have to, in this case, choose this. And I'll 
I'll I'll peep over at the chat in just a minute. Um, and if I miss anybody, please welcome them for me. So there's like a, um, so I guess I'm going to put the other watercolor paper in my cart today. I mean, it's already in the cart, but uh, maybe I'll just go ahead and get it. Because this doesn't spread at all. It's just laying there like a, that's not pretty. But if I could do this snow picture, it will be stunning. It's really, really pretty. I don't really want much glue. He's so gross looking. I'm happy to make a fool of myself, but I don't like making bad pictures. Just because it's a waste of material. Wendy, can you think of any reason why it wouldn't have streamed the video? I would really like it. That would be most beneficial if I could make that work. All right. So the thing about watercolor that, uh, that I do know is that you just have to, like Wendy said, you have to be so patient and maybe it's not ever going to dry in time um, before I can go and add back more back to it. But can you see how the salt has already started adding those, um, those things, jazz hands? It started adding, adding jazz hands uh, to our paper already. Um, well, hey, Sarah. Arches block water paper the best. Make it wetter. There's a fine line between too much water and not enough when doing this. Also, you need good watercolor brushes that will hold the water and pigment. It should stream. I find it odd that it doesn't. I agree. No hair dryer, no blow dryer. I can't do that. I mean, I can, but um, then it will wake up Raylan. And Matthew's in the shower. So we wait for a minute. Um, you know what? While I'm waiting, I'm going to figure out really quick. I'm just going to try for just one more, one more chance to see if the, um, if I can get this to work. Maybe I have too many things open. Let me close this. Let me close this. Let me close this. Okay. No. I see where it's supposed to be. Do you think I have to change my bit rate or something? I can change my, <clears throat> I could change my CPU usage to fast, faster, very fast, super fast, or ultra fast. That's fast. I feel like I should change it to ultra fast. but it did nothing. Hey. 
If you go to another video, will it play in another video? You mean if I go to another another video within OBS? Um, let's try it. Uh, I'm just gonna pick the first one that shows up. All right. It worked. Look, there you are. I had to do it. <laughs> okay, I wonder why that happened. Sorry. I mean, I'm taking I'm taking you out. Taking you out. So let's try it again. Why did that work? Oh my goodness. Wendy, you are a technology genius. All right. Watercolor painting. I think I typed in easy. Easy watercolor painting. If you do that, it's the first one that pops up. Okay. Copy. Pause. Let's try one more time. Maybe she has it protected. <gasps> Yay! Wendy! Good job! Seriously, tip jar. Tip jar. Do the tip jar. All right. Let me skip it. Now, can you hear it? Can you hear it? If you go to another video, the bitrate only affects your stream for OBS. So, go to green. No sound. Oh, come on. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Well, maybe. What about now? Can you hear it now? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Okay. All right. Well, I can fix the... I could fix that. I could fix that. How about now? I can't hear it. So if it's super loud, um, I need you to tell me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. Well, she already did this part. I already did this part. So we can skip that. Hold on. Wow. Look how many colors she used. Purple, red, yellow. Okay. Okay. I think I do need the hair dryer. Okay, let me put some of those colors in. Where's my palette? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm going to put some yellow in there because she did. I'm going to try to put less. I put less this time. Of course, she has a, a bunch of different colors that I don't have too, like, um, which I can make. Maybe. 
That is just, that is a really yucky color. Yuck. Well, if, if nothing else gets accomplished today, that just made my entire day. I don't know about you guys. No, it wasn't probably near nearly as exciting for you as it was for me, but that's exciting. That's exciting because it opens up the door to so many um, to so many things. You know, if I want to um, live stream and do a tutorial that I saw, you know, will do or whoever, um, we could do it together. All right, this is kind of a really ugly pink, but. But it's there. All right. So next on my list, watercolor brushes that are real. Well, this one is a Windsor & Newton, supposedly watercolor brush, number four. There needs to be water on my paper, right? All right. Yeah, I definitely need the hair dryer. How rude is it for me to get up and go get it? I mean, my dog's being rude. Oh, he's being rude because somebody is here. Oh, I wish I could show you outside right now. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful out there. All right, so she's got a lot of red over here. This is going to take for flipping ever. Somebody is here. Red, purple, make some more purple. Just such purple. I mean, like, that's not even like maybe purple well I'm not a watercolor artist that's for sure but I will try It could look really cool when it's done. There's a little yellow down here. Ooh, not that yellow. Let's make it, let's make it this color. I feel like I have to be really rude and see who's here and get a hair dryer. Okay, she put yellow in her picture, but I'm gonna say that that's gonna be a no. Cause I'm not putting yellow, I'm putting mud. That's, that's mustard. Okay. You have to remove the salt before you add any. I did. I wiped it off. Tink, tink, tink. But you might have said that before I did that. That thing is tiny. You didn't remove the salt. I did remove the salt. Add red and a bit of white to mix. To mix what? All right. Let's. I did remove the salt. Okay. Let's see what she does now. And have the darker colors around the so outside. purple, purple, purple and everywhere. She has a really pretty purple. In there. And the colors will really nicely bleed into each other because you've got a pretty wet surface. So oh, okay, she went way, okay. We good. We'll put it up in there. How did she get her purple that purple? Red and white, is that what you were telling me, Wendy? That is just no, 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 we don't like it. I'd rather go blue. I'm making mud on camera for you all to see me making mud. All right, I'll put this up here. And it's mud. 
it is going to be a very stormy night in our picture. So don't use this paper. Lesson one. Does the arches bulge up like that in the middle so that all the water lops down to the sides? Because that's not pretty. Nobody wants that. I need one of those big fat round brushes because this is kind of straight, but if I did that other little one, it would take it, we would be here until New Year's. I think there's a fine line between having the right material and, you know, because I know a lot of people who will wait until they have the right material or the right this or the right that. They won't, um, they won't even try um, to do something until they think they have the right material or whatever. And then, which is a huge mistake, you should always try. You know, you start where you are, you work with what you have, and you work up. But at the same time, there's there's that that place where if you don't have the right stuff, like if you have the wrong an instrument that's tuned incorrectly and you try to play a song and you get really discouraged because uh, your instrument, is, you can't get it to sound right, but really it's just because your instrument is not tuned. And so you give up, you never try. Try again after that. Um, so there's really a fine line, I think, between you know starting, starting anyway, and um, having the right stuff because if this was all I knew about watercolor I would be like well I can't do it because this paper is awful and this brush is not any better okay so so I think she put more salt on now oh geez <laughs> oh Oh, oh, oh my. Okay. Okay. We're good. I'm just gonna... Mm-hmm. That was so much. That was so much. It must have taken her 20 years to get the, her paper that dark. Wendy's probably dying right now of the way I'm mixing these papers. Is it colors? Is it that bad, Wendy? I'm so sorry. I feel like it stresses you out. Oh, but it does. It's going to look like a stormy night, though. No. It's really going to look dark and mysterious. Brenda, I saw you uh, post about your knee. Why does your knee swell up like that when it rains? That's most unpleasant, unfortunate. I still can't get my wrist to stop being a jerk. A lot of it had gotten better and then um, it's still like I can't, I have no, um, I can't bend it like this. So, I mean, I can, but, you know, I won't because, no, it hurts a great deal. Or, like, you use it to wipe anything up. Like, if you have to wipe something up, can't do it. Not with any pressure. So I need a color, uh, I need a tutorial, um, practice in mixing colors, just all of it. I'm not, all right, that's pretty dark. So I'm going to do more of the salt thing like she did. 
One more time. I don't think that can hurt. And I'm going to move back over here to the tree. I'm going to skip around. Because she did a sunset one in the middle. And I'm going to skip the sunset. Because she used a lot of pastels after that. For the purple, we'll, we'll give you a brighter purple. I will post a picture I done with watercolor on her site after I... After her, okay. I would love to see it. One of the reasons I use block paper is no warping. It's really awful, isn't it? It will flatten as it dries, but this is another issue with Canson. But when the materials you're using cause you to struggle, you never do it again. Exactly. Another thing is use a round brush for what you're doing. This is why people say the paper is too expensive or the paint is too expensive, but the results are proof it's worth it. That's true. So I'm going to um, take some of this color up and waste it, but sorry. It's just a, a little crowded. It's a little crowded and I don't want it. And then we're going to skip over. I'm going to go to where she is playing. Let's see, not that one. Yeah, she used a lot of pastels there. And okay. all right, so this is the snowy tree one that I love so much. This is really the one I wanted to do. Starting off very light so you can hardly see it because a snowy landscape, the one I So I'm gonna watch with you. It's not really dark, intense colors. It's that brush is so pretty pale. too. So I wanted to build it up slowly. I started with lighter purples and then built up with more intense purples towards the edges. And I finally went So it looks like a little bit of purple and a little bit a tiny bit of black. And I'm not Wow, look at how uh, salty her, you know, salty is the new word for being cranky. Um, it looks really super cool. Okay. Hey, Matthew. Nope, I tried. Try to get the paintbrush, the hairbrush. All right. So, I got rid of the purple. Go back here. It's so tiny. Goodness. I don't think that that kind of purple really matters too much. It will look really pretty if I could do it right anyway. The thing that makes it pretty is the snow, is the tree. I don't think you can really mess this part of it up. I think I'm just going to stick on this one because, you know, trying to mix the colors and I'm not really so sure how to, how to do that to get that kind of result. Like I would really have to practice to get those kind to get that color match. Um, and this is a really kind of monotone thing. It makes more sense to kind of stick over here. So I think I'm going to do that. And maybe I'll practice that one off camera. Okay. Can you see this? I don't want to... Whoever is here, they have to be here for Matthew because they're just staying in the driveway. Okay. There's no music or anything playing. That's awkward.
I can't wait to put the tree in here. I think I could just paint trees all days and I would be super happy about that. Okay. That doesn't look too unlike her picture. Except mine's a bit, uh, quite a bit wider. Yeah, come on down. Come on down, water. I might get up and get the hair, hair dryer. Look at that puddle of water right there. Do not buy this paper, ever. I must be salty. <laughs> this doesn't make me want to bring up my watercolor and I'm playing with them. You should absolutely do it. <gasps> Steve, you're going to be on the li uh, live stream? No way. No way. I can't even wait. When is this? Wednesday. When Chrissy does her things. Oh, I can't wait. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about that story. Um, I think if I don't get the hairdryer, then um, we're going to be sitting here staring at each other awkwardly like this. Literally waiting for paint to dry. So um, I'm going to be super rude in order to be not rude and go grab the hairdryer. And I'll be right back and talk to each other and, you know, do that do that oh oh hey good morning Barbara um well that's a bummer but see how excited a lot of people will be excited about that you should you should do it Here. plug this in. I saw the blanket moving in there. So I think Graylin is almost awake, but the other kids are awake too. So they can watch her. All right. So I am going to be rude and turn this on. Oh, table. Let's see what she does now. And now I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to add some tree silhouettes. Nothing. She does nothing. Nice she adds more purple. I didn't want it to be as dark, so I mixed in more purple tones instead of just doing it black. And I just <gasps> She's going to make a tree. Okay. We're going to make a tree. We're going to make a tree. I'm going to take the salt out. I guess it's still a little. Maybe that's my brush that's wet. Uh, 
Oh, I guess I'll let her. I guess I'll let her make the tree. Branches, starting with the biggest part of the trunk, and then branching out into the individual branches, and then even thinner branches to make off of the main. A couple branches. of trees. And for so the pretty. Wood in the front, I used black fox in case you were wondering why it takes me so long to get anything done okay I loved your trees what are you talking about oh good morning Laura yeah just pop right over it okay so she made trees by making a really light wash of um, that I want to do a picture and just that blue I mean it's absolutely so beautiful a very 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 like almost no paint all right so over here she put maybe even less than that less than that Dun, 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 dun. I need music on. So pretty. That is the amazing thing about trees, is that you can just draw lines and it just looks so pretty. No one's going to be like, um, excuse me, but your tree has five branches and it should have seven. Leave this all off. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh no, Wendy. That is most unfortunate. Well, did you get any of the winter storm? Let's see. I, I kind of want my tree to be big enough that it goes all the way to the top up here. Like, this is far away, but it's still a gigantic tree. Oh my goodness, so the tree that Matthew brought home literally scrapes our ceiling. It's like flopping over like that because it's so tall. And we just kind of left it because why not? Like that is a gigantic tree. Oh yeah, I should have just started with this. This is much more fun. All right. I want to add a little. If you start far away and lightly press and then add pressure, it will give you that illusion of like a thin branch that gets fatter to the end. I guess it would work the other way too. Fatter and, and pick up your brush, but. There's another tree that's right here. It's a little tree forest. I would probably draw 500 trees in my tree forest. As opposed to all those other kinds of forests that aren't made of trees. Where did the salt come from? I thought I... I thought I scraped you, salt. Okay, I think just a smidgen bit more. I think that it would be a wonderful thing to have a palette of paints that had, you know, colors already in it. So you didn't have to keep. It would probably make your job a little easier. But, again, 
that thing. You don't necessarily want to wait until you have all the right stuff. I think you could start with mediocre supplies and get the idea of if you if you like the idea of it or not. When I first started doing colored pencils, I just had the idea of random, you know, I was watching a, a video from uh, Lisa and I was thinking, <laughs> foolishly thinking at the time that, that colored pencils would be so much easier for me because at the time I was trying to uh, do acrylics and I would have to, you know, set up the whole setup um, and then take it all down as soon as Raylan would wake up, which at the time she was, well, that was a year ago. So she was just a little over a year old. And I thought, well, colored pencils would be easy. I could just put them, take them out and put them up. That was before I realized that they would eventually take up my entire table and all that kind of stuff. But, um, when I said something to Matthew about it, he just, he, uh, he got me, um, it was something like the equivalent of artist loft uh, colored pencils, you know, like really um, not not artist grade at all. And um, but but I got the idea that I would enjoy them, and so you know that that opened a door for me. Even though I would never be able to get the kind of results I wanted, just practicing with them, I knew that I would enjoy doing it. So. Um, don't ever just wait. I have this many Christmas presents bought. I mean, that's not entirely true. I bought my mom's and I got um, Matthew's. And I know what I'm getting the kids, but I don't actually have it yet. Okay, so then she goes in with a really just almost black it looks like I can't hear her so um, if she's saying something different tell me but it looks like she goes in with a really dark purple and black mix so before I do that I'm gonna add just like a smidgen of it I'm gonna mix a tiny little bit of black uh, with this purple what is this that's not it maybe I don't have black. I do have black Aww. You guys are so nice. You're so nice. Okay. I'm gonna have, okay, so here's my purple, which is really quite dark actually, and I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker by adding black. Can, is this in the camera? I'm gonna cover up my what was our galaxy because that's going to happen. Never. And darken it up just a bit over here. Doesn't it already look so pretty and just magical? Love it. Chevy's trying to open the door. Can you guys hear him? What? A, he's such a coward. He will stand out there all day on purpose and wait for something to bark at. Like that is his goal in life. He's got to find it. Something's going to be in the backyard and he's going to protect us from it. Except for when something is in the backyard, he runs into the house. He open literally opens the door and runs into the house. So I'm glad that I just put that on for all the world to see that we do have a guard dog that will run away from you. If you try to come in. All right, so there is that tree. I think I kind of messed it up by doing that. Let me add. Shoot. I 
I can't have it looking like that. I'm just going to keep putting branches in as my brush goes lighter and lighter. We'll just give the illusion that they're back there. Okay. One more thing. And I don't have any gouache, as she says, which I always thought was called gouache. So, um, getting the new sectional for our new media room two days free Christmas. So we can just, that is pretty awesome. But a shadow of a deer in the misty center. For me, I like the idea of the deer. Okay, let's do it. I don't have a deer. I don't know what a deer looks like, except for my brain. Hold on. Should this deer be eating? It needs to be really, 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 really light. Maybe I shouldn't go for a deer. Maybe I should go for a, um, shoot, it's gonna be a deer. Fine, thanks, Steven. Thanks for putting me on the spot. Hold on. I can't do it that way. Let me think. Here's his deer body. How big would this deer be? That's a gigantic deer. Uh, deer body. I'm trying to think of what a deer looks like. And this deer has got his head up like this. And which way are you looking, dear? Something over there has your attention. And my deer has a horse head. Nope, I've made a Great Dane. I have a Great Dane in the Misty Forest. Donkey. It made his neck too short. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who cares? It's just practice. I should have looked at a deer, though. What the heck? What is this creature? It's not a deer. Hold on. I think I can fix it. You've started something now, Stephen. Thank you for that. This is all your fault, Steve. <sighs> okay. First of all, you have to go away. Bye-bye, dear. Bye-bye. All right. Magic! That much I do. I don't know much about watercolor, but I do know that you can erase it with water. What, are, what do we want our deer to look like? We want him to look like, do we want a boy deer? I kind of want a girl deer, a baby deer. Let's see, a boy and a girl. There's so many choices. Apparently everybody really likes the boy deer. They all look exactly like Bambi's dad. Here, this is a great one, her right there. All right, we're gonna go with her. She looks like, she looks like this, that, a little bit of a head up here, it's like a circle, now this right here, and it comes down like this and very long, oh she's much longer than I gave her room for. Smidgen and down.
I'll fix her. Don't worry. It'll be okay. I mean, she looks like a... I don't know what right now. It'll be okay. Down. And then... That one. She's really striking a pose here. And up around her for her bum. All right. Yeah, right there. We're in the Her legs are so tiny. I'll fix it. I'm don't worry. Well, I'm saying don't worry because I'm worried. Why is she looking so crazy? There. Now you know, I get lost. I'm so sorry if I'm being rude. Well, can't say that that was the right decision, but maybe I could fix it. Close enough. There's like this little, I gotta, I gotta erase if I can. Ah, I think I gotta let her dry a bit before I can erase her. I gotta take some of that out, but okay. I'll try to, I'll fix her, but she's gotta dry first. Um, that was way over here. Okay. The best car dog I had ever seen was a goose. <laughs> <laughs> oh no all of that time I'm so sorry well I'm so glad you can't see her I'm not even going to show you hold on I'll move there she is I gotta fix her butt until 11 p.m. I wish it would get um oh paper towel Hello Doesn't look like we got it Yeah, I got to make her a little fatter. I don't know what's going on there. Aww. And 
to fix her booty. All right, let me have the dang tree. You guys know I will be working on this deer for the rest of the day. Now, let me have the tree. Do we really need to see any more of the tree? I don't know. All right, purple. I've lost all my purple in the deer. And it goes right around here. I just would like to point out that the whole idea behind doing the watercolor and not finishing the bear was that this was supposed to be easy and not stressful. Um, probably would have been better off with a bear, but maybe it will be so fabulous. What did you lose, Lo? What is it? You came in with the tree last night. They probably are in the truck. I hope not, because I know I locked my door. I'm pretty sure I brought them in. I got a swore I had them on my belt last night. I don't think so. I love you. I love you. No offense, but I hope you I hope you don't have to come back in. I'm sure I probably will. I'm sorry. It's not just me, it's our whole house. Also, he doesn't know how to have have a sentence without um, saying bad words. I don't hear it anymore, but until uh, other people do. So if it offends you, I'm totally sorry about that. But I hope he didn't lose his keys in the truck. There. Let's put some over here. The thing with the trucks, let me tell you a story about trucks. Um, we have, well, he has a big work truck. Um, and then he got, a, he got a little like weekend truck so that if that truck breaks down, like his work truck breaks down, um, well, for two reasons. One, so he can run two crews out of it if he needed to, or if his big truck broke down, uh, he would have a backup because obviously he needs to be able to get to work um, and then the dump truck for obvious reasons why you would need a dump truck um, and last week the transmission went out in his big truck well actually the fuel pump went out in the backup truck so paid to fix the backup truck got it back that sounds so bad that's bad well that's good I mean, it's locked. They're not in there. So, I just swore I took them all to put them on the nightstand last night. I think that was fine. I don't even remember seeing them. Um, and then, oh, it's blue. And then the next day, the uh, big truck, the transmission went out in the big truck. So it's like, oh yay, at least we have, at least you have your um, backup truck just got fixed. Um, so he got, we got home and that truck wouldn't start again, the little one. So he's like, you know what, I'm just going to drive the dump truck to work. He drove the dump truck to work and the dump truck threw a rod. So three trucks in the same week all broke down uh, right here before Christmas. And last year before Christmas, our van blew up. But there are certainly worse things. So.
Where were they? Uh, they're on the board. Just the tail. Okay. I'm glad you didn't lose them. I love you. Bye. I need this tree to be so much fatter. He needs a branch that comes out right here and goes up. Tree. What are you talking about? Um, yeah, I don't hear it. I literally don't hear it. But we were, we were friends for a long time, um, before, before we ever started dating. Like, I think we were friends for six years at least. Um, and I just don't hear it. He doesn't, he doesn't mean anything by it. <clears throat> it's just a word. Well, I shouldn't say that. He does mean things by it sometimes, but I don't hear it. I think it's part of the, um, I think it's part of the industry that he's in, you know, I mean, there's just a certain way that, that people are and talk and act in that, in that profession. And there's just, this is how it is. That looks so much prettier. Oh my goodness. I have to put my SUV in shop today. I need that like a whole ring. Jeez, that stinks. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's never a good time for a vehicle to break down. But especially right now. And especially, you know, the thing is, though, the thing about that is we could not have been any more prepared for a vehicle to break down. Like, there's no way that... Well, I mean, I guess you could, but we had three, three vehicles, uh, just in case one of them broke down, just in case two of them broke down. It's like, no matter how prepared you are, um, life is going to win when it wants to win. And that's just the end of the story. I mean, there's nothing even, can't even do anything for it. So... All right, well, there's that. I don't just love it. And I don't think I'm really getting the full experience of watercolor doing it like this. Let's see. I'm not sure what button I just hit. The thing I like about watercolor is the softness of it. So it kind of throws me off when um, it's just so, I don't know. Like I like the splotchy, I don't want it to look real. I want it to look like I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I don't know how to explain it. I think the thing with this picture is that it's just so many um layers.
but I do want to try it before I end the stream I'm at least gonna try to uh, put the snow in I add a fake tree back here. a fake tree a fake tree right here really tall straight one like we have around here And another one back here. Gosh, this is kind of addicting, isn't it? Ah, uh, they don't care. When I came home from boot camp when I was done, my grandparents had a big dinner party in honor of me at one point without even thinking about it. I asked my mom. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, that's probably true. I'm sure that's probably true. But there are all kinds of... There are all kinds of things to be influenced by. I'm not saying that uh, I just love it or anything, but... But for the language, there's a lot that he teaches them. There could be worse things, that's for sure. To each his own. All right. What did I need? Snow. I think I'm gonna put even a little tiny bit more black in here. more on this branch. I'm really curious how she got, I think maybe she got that effect by putting, putting the snow there, which I don't have wash. Do you say gouache or gouache? I don't have it. But I do have some white acrylic paint that I can thin down a lot. So I'm going to try that and see how that turns out. So this is entirely addicting. Completely 100% addicting. I can't even believe how um, I could really get lost here. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's the thing, um, Steven, is that he doesn't care. And that's the his best and worst quality to me because he doesn't care. He doesn't care. It doesn't matter who you are. He's going to tell you exactly, uh, exactly what he thinks, which, I mean, I can't say I always think is... Uh, he doesn't always have a lot of couth about it, but um, you know exactly where you stand always. And I 1,000% I appreciate that. And he's never rude. He's never rude to me. I would much rather uh, someone be kind of uh, brazen. Is that the right word? about the truth than uh, really I don't have time for that um, that's 
bum, bum, bum. This little branch right here. Oh, you said to take it out with the brand, with the paper towel, which was a really good idea. Let me try to take some out. I'll tell you the thing. Um, that's true. You always do have choices. I am. I'm having the most fun with it. And I'm being so rude because I'm really like, I'm really could be in here. I, I could spend all day trying to do this because I'm like, well, this needs a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, the thing about, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this story of Matthew while I'm waiting for this to dry. Um, actually uh he's not the father of the girls um when we met we met because um he was friends with their dad this sounds really bad but if you let me get to the end of the story it doesn't sound as it's not as bad as it sounds um and never ever never ever i never ever thought of him as any other way than just uh jesse's friend Matt um, even he lived with us for a little while uh, when he was when he was having a tough time he stayed we had an extra room and he stayed there and never ever gave it any never even crossed my mind or occurred to me or anything like that and uh, Jesse had quite a bit of uh, drinking problems I guess is for lack of a better word and anyway Long story short, he left. He moved to, uh, he lives in Minnesota now and uh, left. How old are the twins? They're 10. So they were like two when he left. So I guess it's been like eight years. So he's he left eight years ago. And uh, after he left, um, and he was just gone, um, Matthew would call us, text us, stop by, just to make sure we were okay. Do you guys need anything? Um, you know, that kind of thing. Consistently, for years and years and years and years and years, he did that. Never made a a pass, if that's the word that you want. I mean, nothing. Just genuinely checking on us, checking on the girls, checking on me, making sure we were okay. Um, even after he moved to West Virginia, he used to live... Uh, lived there for a little while he would call and when he would visit he would come check on us make sure we were okay anything going on around here um and even then i never was like i never thought we should date or anything like that um and then he asked me he texted me one day out of the blue and was like um you know, basically that he wanted to ask me out, out on a date, that he had, his, his dad had passed away and um, he wanted to get nothing left unsaid, you know, that kind of thing. And I was like, no, I'm not going to go on a date with you. Uh, we've been friends. I don't want to mess anything up. I don't want to go on a date with you. Um, but we did. <laughs> we ended up going on a date and... That was it. We've been to get literally inseparable uh, since then. So I can happily look past his foul mouth, if you will, uh, for how much he looks after us and cares for us. And uh, yeah, it doesn't bother me a bit. He's a good guy. All right. Time to add some snow. That's the thing, Steven. There is an influence that goes both ways. I don't think I'm ever going to get him to not... I mean, maybe eventually he will not cuss like that. But um, I can tell you a thousand things that he has changed. Um by influence and not not from me nagging or anything just by genuine influence um, and I think that's that's a good 
marker for a good relationship. Friendship, all of it. Regardless. Hey, look at our little deer face that's starting to come along. All right, I'm gonna get the snow. I just want this little piece, just this little piece to go away. I think. She looks cute. <laughs> oh God, Stephen. <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. I was genuinely like, oh my God, what? What? That is so funny. I'm dead. I just died of laughing. All right. Snow. Let's do some snow. First, I think I'm going to flick snow. And then... Um, we'll go from there. I'm kind of scared to flick the snow. How, how do people do that? Aha, there. Because I just get it everywhere. That's not my, not my, uh, this. All right, dear, we're going to get some of that snow off of you. In this instance, I don't think the snow, the uh, salt really did anything. Maybe if I would have had a whole bunch of layers or something, like really deep layers back there, that that would have worked. I think I'm going to redo this, redo this picture. You know, like plan out the deer, lay it out better, and completely redo it. Like I think I just accidentally stumbled upon a picture that I want to make a real. Uh, I want to do real because I really, I love the idea of this picture a lot. She had a branch that come out here. Might have to add that in. Up here. You ever wonder how people do stuff and it looks so easy? Like, how do they know? Practice. I'll get a toothbrush the next time I come back, next time I go in there. Um, you know, my dad is like that. Uh, he will, uh, take curse words out of, um, books. Like if he's reading a book or something and it has them in there, he'll cross them out before he continues to read it. And he feels the same. It gives him a feeling of disgust and all that kind of stuff. Really, really bothers him. But, you know, there's someone for everyone. Doesn't bother me. That's okay.
I think I do like Yeah, I'm totally going to redo this picture. I really like it. I just don't like this. Like, it's really uh, subtle. Actually, it looks really different on camera than it does um, in real life. I'm going to share it really quick. Not good, but better. Oh, darker. Um... Where am I right there? Yeah, I'm gonna redo it. How nice. That would be a nice Christmas card if I could ever, uh, if I could do that right. Back, that's so scary looking. Oh, there you guys are. I saved you in the dog portraits. Remind me of that in five seconds. See the darker? The darker it looks. So weird, isn't that how that works? All right, yes, I wanna remove it. And then I wanted to share your guys pictures really quick here's Brenda's waterfall picture in case you missed it did it show up let's take this out and I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna show Brenda's picture and I'm gonna show this card let's just get rid of it and I'm gonna show Steve's picture so um, there's Brenda's and we should think of a prize and there's Stevens and they're doing the same uh, working from the same stop working from the same reference photo and coming up with their own picture and I like absolutely love this idea so much because you can really see the different styles uh techniques um and what each person sees when they look at a picture is just it's just so awesome i love it and I'm, i love both of these pictures and i don't know why you don't like your leaves Stephen. they look great to me i love them both are you sure yes and remove yes well, um, I hope that you guys just get rid of it. Just, I don't know. I don't know what's shocking me. Um, I can't say that I taught anything um, except for um, have a hair dryer by your by your workspace if you're working with watercolors. And um, I'm gonna redo this picture on my own uh, when I get better watercolor paper. Because I really like the idea of it. I think it's gonna. I think it could be really pretty. Um, and I'd love to do a really. I wonder what the largest watercolor picture is. You know, because you would have to work while it's still wet. That would be a really. I'm curious to know what that is. But anyway, I think I'm gonna be done. I don't really know what else to do. My. Um, let's see what that was like. That look how wet that still was. That made a super neat effect right there. I don't know. Maybe I'll go go and do this later and uh, and see how that goes. My ears just don't listen so that I don't hear it. Next time. Why are you why are you saying bye? We're not bye yet. I didn't say bye. away from me um what am i what am i missing i have walked out of movies because i don't want to usually deal with the women's entire 
Can you bring it dough so we can see? Um, did I move Brenda so that you could see it better? Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. I've been streaming for almost two hours. That's why watercolor is magic. It makes time vanish. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm going to redo this picture later. Again, I'm going to just keep saying that. I'm going to hang it up on somewhere around here so I can see it and not forget because I really like it. Um, I really like the idea of it. I really like that you suggested the fawn. Yeah, because, yeah. I need to fix her. But, yeah. It's awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much for coming. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I, again, apologize for Matthew's potty mouth. But, um, I have no control over his mouth. Um, and I think that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Wendy, please stay safe and dry. And everyone else, um, yeah, take care. Thank you for coming. I felt like that. Thank you. Bye.